the probability that an employee will remain with the company is 0.6 the probability that an employee earns more than rupees 5 lakh per year or per annum is 0.5 the probability that an employee is going to remain with the company or who earns more than rupees 5 lakh per annum is given to be 0.7 what is the probability that an employee earns more than rupees 5 lakh per annum given that he remains with the company? The probability the employee remains with the company equals to 0.6. The probability the employee or any employee earns more than rupees 5 lakh per annum is 0.5. Probability the employee remains with the company or earns more than rupees 5 lakh per annum 0.7. First of all, let us use sign. Event A is the employee remains with the company. B the employee earns more than rupees 5 lakh per annum. According to the data available, P of A is 0.6, P of B is 0.5. The third information available is the probability that the employee remains with the company or earns more than rupees 5 lakh per annum is 0 0.7. That means it is case of union A union B equals to 0.7. The probability the employee remains with the company or earns more than 5 lakh per annum. A union B. Now what is the main question? What is the probability that an employee earns more than rupees 5 lakh per annum given that or if, we can use if, he remains with the company. What is the probability that an employee earns more than rupees 5 lakh? That means, what is the probability of B? If or given that A has happened or A is going to happen. So, we require to calculate probability of B given A. Now, to calculate B given A, first we require Yes, probability of A intersection B. To calculate or to find out probability of A intersection B, we have union. Probability of A union B equals to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. That means if we want to find P of A intersection B, P of A intersection B equals to P of A plus P of B minus P of A union B. Let us substitute the value P of A 0 0.6 plus P of B 0.5 minus P of A union B 0.7. That is P of A intersection B equals to 0.4. Now we have the probability of A intersection B. So we can calculate P of B given A. But again at the cost of repetition what we have actually done formula of P of A union B. Why? We have the answer available for P of A union B. P of A union B according to our general law, law of addition of probability is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Now out of these four, one is missing. We can find one missing if we have three other available. 
union available, P of A available, P of B available. Now what will happen if we want to find P of A intersection B, make it the subject of formula. And P of A union B goes other side of equal to sign, so it becomes negative. So the formula is P of A intersection B equals to P of A plus P of B minus P of A union B. And the answer is 0.4. Now we can calculate P of B given A, that is P of A intersection B divided by P of A. So 0.4 divided by P of A, 0.6, so answer is 2 by 3 or approximately 0.667. Okay?